back to my new video so first of all i would like to apologize for not making video consistently because as you know that it is too complicated to make videos uh, while you have a lot of responsibilities in your daily life you have to go to the job and your family a lot of things are there so this is the reason i i, I was not available uh, for last nine months but now i am again here and in this video we are going to make one another mini project and in this project i am going to show you that how we can basically convert the jpg to web now before uh, showing you the conversion let me clear one thing here that what is the need of conversion of this conversion why do we need to convert the jpg images to webp in the real world era so if you uh, if you are web developer and if you have developed the various kind of uh, e-commerce or any other projects then you might have noticed that in uh, if, let's let's take the example of wordpress in wordpress you might have uh, noticed that when we upload an image then wordpress what uh, it does it simply convert it makes uh, it, it makes the multiple copies of that particular image means uh, of the different sizes thumbnail size and then uh, mobile size and then desktop size and so on and so on so this is basically an image creation now what is the use of webp if you develop the website or you can say that cms system content management system and if you upload the system on the server then you might notice that your website is slow down so in order to increase the speed of your website there is one major factor is of the image type there are a lot of other um, uh, aspects also but it is one of the major aspects that uh, you should upload your images in webp format so that your website couldn't get slowed down and the and your website speed has been optimized so how this project is going to work so i have simply clicked on the choose file and here i select this pick uh, please notice that this its type is jpg so i am simply double clicking on it and before conversion and let me show you the upload folder it is empty at the moment so simply clicking on the convert and it is saying that your file has been converted successfully so if i come back to the file, uh, upload folder and here if you see the file has been converted and if i right click on this image and then click on show more options and click on properties then you notice that here it is webp format so its uh, type has been converted successfully so if i double click on it here is the image basically so you got my point that what we are going to do today i hope it is interesting isn't it okay so let's do it let me open the code so here i have write already the basic code of html and here i have created one simple form in this form what i have done the method type is post and encryption type is basically multi part slash form data and why we have used this we use this so that uh, when whenever we work with the files we use in this int type okay and where this design is coming from so for that we have one styles.css file in which uh, all the code is written i am not going to explain this uh, css code if you want to learn the css code then in my youtube channel there are a lot of videos over there you can learn from there okay so i just scroll down so that if you if in case you want to write this code then you can pause the video and copy the code from here okay so let's do some magic here okay so what i am going to do here and uh, also note that i have linked that css file over here okay okay so now what i am going to do that when someone click on this submit button then what will happen so here i am starting my php code and let me little bit zoom it so that it should be visible to all of you and what i am going to do here is a set dollar underscore post and then submit means if someone click on the submit button then this condition should execute and what we are going to do in this uh, condition first of all we are going to uh, uh, i think we should uh, copy the uh, include the functions file first after that i am going to show you that how we can process this uh, form okay so what i am going to do i am simply including my functions file here functions.php don't worry i know we have not worked on functions yet so here it is one file functions.php which is completely blank we are going to write the code over here so what i 
simply did i simply in, uh, included this file in my index.php okay after that what we are going to do we are simply uh, creating a variable having name uh, temp file name is equals to dollar underscore files I hope that you know that whenever you work on files, then we use the files global variable instead of the post and get. So we are working on files. That's why I, that's why I am using files. And in files, what we do over here in first array, we write the name of the file. So what is the name of the file? It is file. So I'm simply copying and pasting it. And in the second parameter, I'm going to write temp underscore name. So you also have to write the temp underscore name, which is basically the temporary name of the file. Okay. After that, what we are going to do, destination. We are uh, going to set the destination over here. So we are going to upload this file in the uploads folder. So we have uploads folder in our, over here. So I have to upload the files in this folder. So I what I'm going to do, uploads slash the, or here I'm writing converted file dot wedp. So this is going to be the name of our converted file. After that, what I am going to do, I am also going to cover the compression over here, com uh, file compression or whatever you, whatever name you want to give it, you can give it. And over here, I am writing eighty eighty. So what what basically this compression will do? If you want to reduce the size of the image, for example, you have one website where you work with in the images and a lot of people used to upload images over there. Now, what you want, you want to convert the image into WEBP. Along with that, you also want that images quality should be reduced a little bit so that so that its size should reduce. So when its size will reduce, it will take a little less space on the server. I hope this point is clear to you. So, so, so simply what for what I am doing this just to uh, decrease the quality of little bit uh, quality of image so that the file size should decrease. That's the only reason. Okay. After that, what I am going to do here, I am going to call my function, which we have not developed uh, for which we have not write the code yet. So let's first write the code for that. So I am coming into the functions.php file and over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one function and I'm going to give it a name jpg to web, okay, web, okay. So in this function, okay, so first of all, let me open the php tag and close it over here. So in this function, we will accept the three parameters. First one will be the source file. Second one will be the destination file. And the third one will be the file compression to which by default, I am going to set 100. So if by default, it should be the 100%, should not be the less, but we are and deliberately uh, reducing it in over here. So by default, it is 100, okay? So uh, if you want to make this uh, uh, dynamic, you can do this, okay? And if you want me to make it dynamic, then just leave a comment in the comment section so that I can show you that how you can basically make it more dynamic. So what we are going to do here, I am simply creating a, uh, one variable image. And in this variable, what I'm going to do, create image from jpeg. This is basically a built-in function of PHP, which basically create image from jpeg. The function itself is telling you that what it is going to do, okay? so where we have file so from where it should create the image it should create the image from this source file this is our source file which user has uploaded so i'm going to pass this variable over here okay and in here i'm going to make one another variable and over here i am going to write uh, create webp so what it will do it will simply create the webp uh, format and in this i am going to pass three parameters number first is this parameter which is creating the image so dollar underscore image we will pause this and second your destination file and number third is file compression same as we have written over here so this will be the name of the file and it will be the basically the compression of the uh, image okay so what we are going to do here is 
result is equals to false if for any reason our image is not created then in that case it should return false to us otherwise it should destroy image image destroy which image it should destroy which image a uh, result and over here what we are going to do we are simply returning our destination file so that this destination file will come over index.php so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to call this function because i have already included this function over here okay so over here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a variable result and over here i'm calling this function and we have to pass three parameters source file destination file and file compression so all, we already have these three variables over here so the source of this file is basically temporary file name this is the source uh, source of our image and this is the destination where it should be uh, moved or uh, which name it should use and third one is the file compression so we are going to use these three uh, variables over here and over here what i am going to do if result is equals to false then it should say file conversion fail due to the technical reason you can write anything over here otherwise it should write echo your file has been converted successfully that's it so this is the simple thing over here i'm going to save this file reducing its uh, uh, unzooming it basically and now let's test this over here i refresh it let me check the upload folder it is empty clicking on the choose file and from here i am going to select this jpg image convert and it is saying an uh, un called error call to undefined function create image from jpg jpeg okay so it is saying that uh, we have used undefined function i think i have made some mistake over here uh, create image from jpeg i think this is the function or maybe c r e a t the spelling is also right whenever you stuck in some kind of errors what you have to do simply go to the google and write over here create image image created from jpg so it, this the function is basically image created from jpg so i'm simply copying this name from here and pasting it over here and i think here it should come image wedp okay so let me try this again so what i'm going to do i am simply refreshing it continue it is saying image destroy or it should be the destroy image i think so let's do this again image destroy okay so in image destroy i think we have to pass this image not the result okay because here it is basically creating the image now let's try again i am refreshing it continue your file has been converted successfully so here if i come back over here it is saying converted file first of all let me right click on this so that i can check whether it is converted or not properties it is saying webp perfect now let me open this image perfect so this is basically a kind of mini mini project in which i showed you that how you can um, basically convert the jpg to webp now if you want to convert the png into webp or jpg to png if you want further conversions just leave the comment and i will make the video from them so i hope this video uh, would be useful for you and you have enjoyed it so see you in the next video till then take care of yourself